Christian Laviola was brought to the United States with his siblings uh, when he was nine years old uh, through uh, Christian. Uh, so Christian became uh, an All-American scholar by seventh grade and received a full scholarship to a private Jesuit high school. He was limited by his undocumented status. At age 16, Mr. Avila, an Arizona resident, started volunteering with Mi Familia, Vota. He was uh, one of the core, uh, core fasters in the Fast for Families demonstration at the U.S. Capitol, which was visited by the by President and Vice President and First Lady and various Cabinet Administration members uh, and members of Congress. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to address you on behalf of my Familia Vota. Um, bef uh, first off, my name is Cristian Avila. I'm a first generation uh, immigrant and uh, I'm a proud dreamer. Uh, and also the National Civic Engagement Coordinator. Um, I have been blessed to be part of a greater organization that, that has the best minds in the, in the country uh, that focuses on leadership development. And although I can't vote, I am glad to be part of the solution by building political power for a better tomorrow. Um, Mi, Famili Mi Familia Vota Educational Fund is one of the premier Latino civic engagement organizations in the country. Uh, we train and skill staff dedicated to the empowerment and civic uh, participation for the Latino community. Uh, Mi Familia Vota Educational Fund uh, develops, coordinates, and implements sophisticated nonpartisan field programs across the country and strategies uh, including citizenship promotion and assistance uh, in voter registration, education, and mobilization. Um, Mi, uh, nationally and locally, Mi Familia Vota has partnered with a number of legal organizations to file lawsuits uh, and um, amicus uh, briefs against uh, restricted voting practices to harm the Latino rights to vote. In addition, we have advocated for Congress to restore the Voting Rights Act. Um, in Arizona this year, Governor Doug Ducey has made it collecting another person ballot a felony. Uh, MFV has strongly opposed this law since our canvassers who have built trust in the community have been taking part of the ballot uh, chase program since 2010. In Nevada, uh, Mi Familia Vota, in coalition with local and, par and, no local and national partners, have successfully challenged an increase of the cost of voter registration cards in Washoe and Clark County. Also in Nevada, uh, Mi Familia Vota, represented by demos and uh, Project Vote, uh, sued the, the Nevada uh, DNV for in compliance with uh, NVRA. As an outcome, the Secretary of State, DNV, Clark County um, ele Election Department came together to ensure that DNV uh, and NVR compli uh, compl compliance uh, voter registration form in place before the 2016 uh, general elections and plans to create an, ele an electronic voter registration that will be in place uh, by uh, 2017. In Texas, uh, Mi Familia Vota, uh, in partnership with local and national partners, filled an amicus uh, brief with the Fifth Circuit Court here in appeals in support of previous decisions uh, from the Texas Dis District Court and Fifth Circuit panel, finding that voter ID. Um, and looking forward, I, I believe uh, investing in solutions that promote democracy is key. Uh, enough with the voter suppression and barriers that put in place uh, to restrict voting access. Programs such as voter registration, automatic voter registrations, same day voter registration, um, modernizing our, our election systems, investing into outreach and low income and, and people of color communities on civic engagement and restoring the ra voter rights act uh, to ensure that the rights of all eligible citizens participating in our democracy are not restricted. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, yes. Mr. Booth. Christian, uh, two and a half years ago, you participated in a uh, water only fast for, you tell us how many days to call on the Congress of the United States to take up comprehensive immigration reform, a piece of legislation that had passed in the United States Senate and that the, the House uh, never brought even to a committee, much less to the floor. So just as Reverend Barber points out that there's been a filibuster in effect uh, uh, blocking uh, action on restoration of the Voting Rights Act since the Shelby decision, there is the same thing going on with respect to inaction on uh, comprehensive Im immigration reform. Uh, uh, what you've testified to on uh, voter participation is very important, but I, I don't want to us to miss the opportunity to give you a chance to talk about what you were doing there in that tent, fasting all those weeks. 
Thank you, uh, Mr. Paul. Uh, yeah, I had the, the, uh, the blessing to, to participate in a, in a fast with, along with Eliseo Medina and a lot of the great leaders. Uh, we ended up doing a uh, in water only fast for 22 days. Um, and the only reason why I, I took part of this fast uh, is because I have a personal uh, personal matter in this. Uh, I come from undocumented parents, undocumented family, um, and I believe that my, my mom and my dad uh, did a great sacrifice uh, for us to have a better future, for a better education, and I thought it was time for, for me to give back a little bit to my parents who, who left everything behind for me, uh, for they to have a, little, a better tomorrow. I think they they have, uh, they are outstanding citizens of the United States, and like my mom and dad, there's millions and millions of families across the country uh, that all they want to do is have a, uh, a better future uh, and want to come home to their families. I, every day that I work is, is because of them. Um, every time I fly out the country, one of my biggest nightmares comes to mind, and I don't want this to ever happen, to get a phone call that one of my mom, with either my mom or my dad, uh, got picked up by immigration. And uh, the only way that I could look my parents into the eye uh, and say that I did everything that I could for them to have a better tomorrow uh, was for me to take pa pass on, on, this, on this fast. But I understand that um, fasting is, uh, is a part of, of the solution, but the, 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 um, the overall solution is by, by having people vote. Um, and that's the reason why I've been uh, in day in and day out making sure that we build political power for Latinos and that it's easier for everybody to vote, not just Latinos, and everybody take part of the democracy. Thank you know, you. you know, it's uh, you usually hear, you usually hear, parents say they want a better situation for their children, and it's nice to hear you say you want a better situation for your parents. I mean, that says a lot. Um, but thank you very much. Thank you, thank sir. You.